okay, once we've powered up, you want to set the input. I've got it set at about 10 o'clock. Um, that's fine. That's fine for me. If I sing really loud, I'll get some orange and possibly red sometimes. If you're a quieter singer, turn it up. If you're a louder singer, turn it down. Uh, just make sure that it's not in the red too often. I've got the tone turned on. I really like the tone, actually. The tone is the brightness and the compression and the de-essing and gating on the harmonies so that it doesn't chatter when you're, when you're not singing and the guitar is playing. Anyway, you can uh, set different options with the tone button if you want. It's on the default now. Just keep pressing it. It goes through the options that are listed in the manual. Press and hold to get back to uh, tone turned on at the default. Now these knobs here, uh, it's a good idea to set them to the middle. This first one here, because my guitar is going through Harmony GXT down to my effect pedal, um, this doesn't affect me, but uh, I'll discuss that when I get to the acoustic guitar. Still, set it in the middle D10 position. Here's the effects knob, and you hear that really nice reverb coming in. Uh, you'll want to set that to 12 o'clock as well. Because I'm going to be talking to you for a sec, I'm going to go ahead and turn the reverb off. Turn the effects off, rather, uh, but so I can leave it here at 12 o'clock. Harmony should be at 12 o'clock. You know, these are settings uh, that we th that we figure you guys will like, but uh, maybe you want a little the effects a little quieter or louder, the harmonies a little louder uh, or softer. Uh, that's okay too. You can adjust that. So moving on down, this button, pressing this button, goes through the presets in the product, and you hear the reverbs come back on again. There we go. Turn that off. And so right now, there's only five presets. But we figure that you're only going to want to step through five uh, when you press and hold this button here. See both flashing. This becomes your preset access button. If you want to step through more of those, there's a way to uh, set it by powering up and holding the preset button. You can set between three and uh, ten presets that you can step through with this foot switch. And don't forget that each one of those presets, I'll press and hold it again, has an A and a B setting, A and B. See, in this preset, preset number one, the A setting has a couple of harmony voices, has the hall turned on, and then when I go to B, there's no harmonies turned on, and the hall is still turned on, but also the double is now turned on. So when I switch from A to B, I go from harmony to doubling. And each of the ten presets, or rather the five presets as it comes from the factory, have an A and B setting. So you've got lots and lots of alternatives to switch through in the evening. Okay, so we've gone through those. Now the manual button, that's something we'll discuss a little bit later. That's a more, more of an advanced function. Doubling, of course, is the, is the uh, doubled voice that makes your voice sound thicker. And uh, now with Harmony G XT, as opposed to the original, uh, you've got more settings of doubling. You've got a default, and you've got a uh, single voice uh, a little bit looser. You got two voices uh, tight and then two voices loose. I'll put it back to the default, press and hold to get back to my original one. That can be stored differently in each preset, so you can have a different doubling voice in each preset if you like. The effects button, pressing this obviously goes through the selection of effects. And don't forget, with Harmony GXT, we've got this really nice new reverb that is very, very lovely sounding. And each of these has a, a three alternates. So if I'm on the hall, for example, hall, when I press and hold it, I have one, two, three. These are the different options for each one of these, and uh, there's lots to, uh, lots to choose from, and again, each preset can have its own setting of that, and of course, A, B will allow you to switch between two settings if you want, or uh, in this first preset, uh, you basically switch between, you know, I'll, go, I'll go, go back around so it's back to the factory setting here. Going from A to B, it stays on hall, so you go from doubling to harmonies without messing up with your uh, effects, although you can change them if you want. And these two buttons basically go through the different harmony options for the uh, voice one and voice two. You can also have both, vo both voices singing the same. Uh, voicing if you want. You can have them singing different ones and uh, in a minute I'll be able to give you examples of what all these voicings sound like, these intervals. There we go. And uh, coming down here, of course, we explained this is the uh, preset and AB button. 
and then we have the uh, on button to turn the effects on and off. Now, this, this effects button here is also good for bypass. Say I was talking to you like this. I was singing a song like this. I don't necessarily want to talk to my audience like that, so I'll press and hold. And now I can talk to the audience and say, hi, how are you doing? You're having a great night. And the tone is still on, even though I'm bypassed. And it's for perfectly dry, so I don't sound weird like I'm in some sort of cave while I'm talking to them. Now, that's a good time for me to show you how to tune. Um, we've changed the tuning a little bit between the original Harmony G and Harmony GXT. So now, as you go down, only the middle row lights up. So here we go. We're getting a little sharper. There we go. You notice the guitar is muted. This is kind of nice. It's a professional feature. You don't want to have your guitar wailing away when you're tuning. And uh, so I'm a little flat there. Oh, G, good, good. Oop, a little flat there. I'll go sharp just to show you what it looks like. It goes sharp, 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 flat, 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 flat. And of course, the, the note is shown on the left. It's a chromatic tuner, so you can tune to all alternate tunings if you want. That's supposed to be an A. It's an A. And an E. There we go. Okay, so now we're, now we're in tune. And uh, a quick press of the uh, on slash bypass button will get us back to this. Okay, once we've powered up, you want to set the input. I've got it set at about 10 o'clock. Um, that's fine. That's fine for me. If I sing really loud, I'll get some orange and possibly red sometimes. If you're a quieter singer, turn it up. If you're a louder singer, turn it down. Uh, just make sure that it's not in the red too often. I've got the tone turned on. I really like the tone, actually. The tone is the brightness and the compression and the de-essing and gating on the harmonies so that it doesn't chatter when you're, when you're not singing and your guitar is playing. Anyway, you can uh, set different options with the tone button if you want. It's on the default now. Just keep pressing it. It goes through the options that are listed in the manual.